That bear is awesome. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. I know. I called this and like half an hour ago. Bastards. I doubt anyone knows. I knew half an hour ago. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. No one at Ironraft knows of this. Not that I've ever heard. I suspected as much. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Quite. Few try. And fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and, and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming. And we haven't much time. Shit, what are you about to do? Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Sveolod Mopre Befastan. Oh, well, they're off. These guys are good. I don't even need my help. Oh, here we go, though. Oh, sweet. He's still alive, though, isn't he? Fucking beast, this guy. Oh, here we go. Two of them. Oh. Fucking hell. Aha. Oh no. That guy. Shit. Let me do something. Grab the bow. We know how to use it. Probably should have shot the guy on the right first because he was running at us. Oh, nice one, thanks. <laughs> the bear is so awesome. Oh no! He just grabbed his own sword. That's not gonna help anyone. No. Oh god! Oh shit, really? Oh my god. Finn is strong as fuck. Did I just... Yes, I did. Okay. I thought I lost my arm for a second. And fucking hell, Finn. I need to get into that... Oh, shit. Into the, like, flame thing. Oh, oh we're just gonna actually grab this entire fucking thing. Alright. Okay. Here you, here you go, bud. Aw, oh, Finn.
Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong. But you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well. For a crow. Just left a sword in him, by I the way. Your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. You fought well yourself. Or at least your bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. What a terrible name. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. But they're already skeletons. Uh, some of them are, at least. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. If you don't burn them, they come back like Finn. Don't you Emotion understand? Emotion is a weakness. According to her. They don't mourn their dead. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. The more my sister's doing, not mine. Oh, shit. The whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wild Link tribes went south with Man's Raider. Here, let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. I should return to the village. Fulgor and Bison here. Wait, why is that Did going you not on? Hear me? What's going on here? No, don't. Fulgor and Suna. <laughs> what? Wait. Fulgor and Bison here. What's going on there? You're losing control. What was that? That's what I'm wondering. It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Hello, Shadow. That's a... That's... It's an especially dumb name because it's a fucking ice bear. It's completely white and you call it Shadow. I guess it's maybe now an ironic my name. Is dead. There's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush no. our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his death. We can't leave the North Grove. And stay here to die. I'd rather live. As much as I want to help out. I know out. what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. Yes, that's exactly... But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Maybe he does. You don't know him. He's not your father, where he is. Alright, before we continue, we'll be back in just one second. Alright, I have returned. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Oh, really? That was the end of it? God damn it. <laughs> the fuck? Looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. Hmm. 
Oh, there's plenty of stuff. Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, I sh probably shouldn't worry about that. A rat hole. Rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. I like the little slap she's got on her, like, face. Right, right there. I like the fingerprints. Uh, nothing over there. Rats. Ah. Okay, well, we'll have... We'll pick that up in a minute. Teeth. Oh god! Those are human teeth! Use it as a weapon. What are you doing? Alright, let's pick up the torch. Let's look at it first. It's a torch! Oh, no way to get this alight. Pick it up anyway. I wonder if I could use it for something else. Okay. Jailer! Please! Shut it! Please come here! Pry open. Hello? Mm. Uh, hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey! No talking! Jailer! Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want, then? Tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! <clears throat> Bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. What's that look? Pitty? You can leave the judgment to the father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offense. But we have to keep our heads held high. Even when everything else is taken from us. <laughs> I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing, just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Oh, it's our good friend. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. It was all a ruse. He's here to break me out. What? Nothing to say. Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. Huh. Good to see you too, Mira. I've come to make you an offer. Is it one I, I can't refuse? About what you said. And I've come to the conclusion you're right. Of course. Rudd will likely ruin every forest under his control. Only foresters know how to really work. Ironwood. That's useful. And then I realized there's something much more valuable than your knowledge of trees, Mira. Your name. What? I want you as my wife. What? 
Maybe if you hadn't betrayed me first. Not my idea of courtship. Your wife! Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms too. I'll take this if this saves the house. I want my own kingdom. Seems like a pretty decent deal. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep, like I. Oh, he doesn't become the lord. It may does not it? be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Well, then there's no and reason for me to do it. will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. Until I cut your throat in your sleep. <laughs> Doubtless you'd try, given half the chance. But you won't be. Well, it's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. I think I'll decline. Thanks. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! Nah. All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. Yeah, no thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll die with so, pride. Mira, what do you say? Go fuck yourself. I will never be yours, idiot. You will never have Iron Wrath, and you will never have me. What? You fool! I don't fool of a took. Die. Go on, fucking do it. Fine. Have it your way. Burger King. Fuck, is she? I mean, it's fine. I assume she's gonna die, but... That was the choice I made. But still. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Is she being raped? Oh, no, she's fine. Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Well, then which why... is why I need you to do something for me. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you want I then? I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... Trying to murder him? That's when they found me. You're a murderer. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. Are you sure this is what Cotter would want? I know he would. We'd never let free folk suffer. Is he actually going to die, though? Is he just not... He's in so much pain. Yeah, I need to see him first. Where the hell are we going now? Okay, 
he sounds like he's in pain, that's for sure. One step at a time. Okay, something's going on here. What the? They look like a fucking ritual... ...fucking sacrifice or something over here. Oh, they're doing the blood magic. They're trying to turn him into one of them. I know what's going on here. I did everything within my power to help your friend. Yeah, but no. I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotter. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> oh, you want to use it, boy? I will taint his blood. Oh, fuck. This shoulder is fucked, Jesus. Gareth. Gareth, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. You have to protect Sylvie. Ah. I will, buddy. But first, Cotter. I'll murder you. Oh. Oh, I can't bear it anymore. Oh. Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. Cotter's a fighter. Always has been. I can see that. But now you can use this death to give his life meaning. No, I'm not gonna do that. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I speak only for myself. Garrett Tuttle. Lord Gregor trusted you with the secrets of the North Grove. He must have seen something in you. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His, his heart. beating heart. And his death can have meaning. No. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. Can we use someone else? We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. Uh, For the North. I don't know with this one. It's it's not going to give me a fucking timer, is it? Or it's it is going to give me a timer. Garrett, tell me what you want. Can't take it any longer. Tell me, do you want this or no? Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. How do you want to die, Nightshade or Blade? Please tell me. Give him that poison, and his blood okay. will be useless. I've got time, Just at least. Use his blood to give us strength. Out there, you saw what's possible. That was only the. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't. Ritual, and we can prepare for the coming winter. No. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. I'm sorry, then but... so be it. Okay, she's not making as big a deal out of it as I was uh, thinking she would, so that's good. Although I'm sure... Oh, 
sure this will be problematic anyway, but... Oh, here you go, bud. Eat that. Shove it right up in there. Fucking numb the hell out of that, mate. Is it any good? Well, that was quick. Okay, well, that's good at least. That body's gonna fucking be choking there, vomiting for like a half an hour. Uh oh. Fulgorn Vice in air. Alright, so she's obviously losing control. We must burn the body. Yes, I agree with you on that one. Hey, buddy. You, you, you alright? 